Studio Epic. So if you didn't see the previous video, we had a part one video that was making the toolbox. This is the tray for the toolbox, so you definitely need to check out part one before you watch part two. So you're gonna cut these ends um, for the bottom, for the little tray we're gonna add to the toolbox, you're gonna cut these ends the same width as you did the boards, the uh, end boards that we cut. Now as we're cutting out the rest of the sides for the bottom, you're going to want to go ahead and cut these the same length as you did the bottom boards for the, the toolbox. We're going to measure this about two and a quarter inches and then we're going to rip all of the boards for the sides of the bottom tray for the toolbox. You just need to rip all four sides while we have the table saw set. Next, I'm going to line up how wide the, my toolbox is, and we're going to go ahead and rip the bottom of the tray on the table saw. Once you get the bottom ripped, you're going to go, want to go ahead and measure 16 inches and then uh, do a cross cut to cut the box, the bottom of the tray to size. Just like so. Now that we got all of our boards cut for our bottom section, we're going to go ahead and screw those together and uh, get it ready to add to our toolbox. We're going to start by pre-drilling um, four holes in these. And remember, we cut the boards to fit like this. So we need to make sure that this is how we, we uh, pre-drill them so that it'll fit on the bottom and then this will go simply on the top. Just like so. So in case you're still kind of confused on what we're doing here, this is what it's going to look like. This is going to just sit right on top of this, just like that. And we're going to attach it to where we can just, we'll have this little tray down here to uh, maybe put loose screws, screwdrivers, wrenches, whatever you, whatever you might have that's just loose that can roll around. Or you... So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach our latches. I have a couple latches here. I got I got two of these little latches. They're just going to I'm gonna put one on each side of the box. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna attach it to the very top of this. So I'm gonna pull the toolbox over just a little bit, and I'm going to hold this up against it to where it will be level across there, lined up with the bottom of the box. Once I do that, I'm going to just pre-drill these top two holes. Because I didn't like the way this looked on the sides and the way it closed, 
I'm rewinding and I'm gonna put it on the ends. Of course, I'm not rewinding in real life, just in the video. Put them on the sides to begin with, and I think I like it better here on the ends. And I just kind of eyeballed it to line it up with the uh, line it up kind of in the middle of right here. So you can see we got the box done, so you got the little clips, the tray done, so there it is. Put some little things in there, put your items in it, in there, and then, oops, and just lines up, snaps into place on both sides, and then you got your box you can carry with you. I hope that you enjoyed this two-part video from Studio Epic this, this week uh, and last week. Uh, uh, I thought this this uh, tray adding this tray to the bottom of the toolbox is a nice little addition you have the toolbox it's just a very simple project that I believe anyone can do and it's a good beginner project and then for the advanced workers I guess we can add this tray to the bottom again thanks for watching this video from Studio Epic if you can hit that subscribe button I think it's going to be like right here just click on that you'll be able to stay in touch with all the videos from Studio Epic if you like the video please hit the like button and uh, please leave comments whether you liked it or didn't like it and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again for another video. Studio Epic. Epic. Epic.